now to put it all back together for the guy. Just kid. Okay, so here's the pre-charge uh, contactor or the cutting contactor. Last thing I wanted to show you real quick. It is running through a normally closed set of contacts. Probably won't be able to see it, but I'll try. Anyways, this wire right here would go to your, your plus bus, out your plus bus, back out through the normally closed to the resistor, out the resistor, out this little wire right here off of this side, out the resistor to your, to your minus bus. So it's basically, it's across the bus when this contactor is de-energized, that'll close the circuit and that's what this resistor, like I was saying before, it is a, it's, it's to rapidly bleed down the bus for a code issue. And then uh, last thing, it is an auto transformer and it's for the cooling fan. So that's all that little guy was. He was uh, stuffed underneath it. Um, okay, so generically speaking, that's, that's how you take apart a drive all the way down to the guts. Um, I know that this is a square D but they are all pretty much the same nowadays they are uh, they all pretty much well they're they're constructed differently but the 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 theory behind uh you know with the cap bank the bridge the IGBTs that used to be mounted here and so on you would basically have uh your input section that would rectify the the AC voltage to a DC it would drop that across through the through the contactor through the cap bank right here and then that would then be a bust over to your IGBTs or your inverter section and then a lot of the times right about here there was that break that was on that heat sink that is uh, uh, there to help electrically stop the motor on a dime if you're uh, machining or, or, or doing something where you need to aggressively slow that motor down and stop it you can uh, use that brake to do that you just program the drive to say that it has a brake you typically put a resistor across that to help bleed the, the bus voltage down because when you force a motor down as you guys know it's going to uh, pump the bus up it's going to regen through that and uh, bring this bus up so that's what the the idea of the brake is so that's basically it always treat these things like sections and basically speaking you're always dealing with it, minimum of three sections um, typically almost always three sections this little guy as long as I got it on the bench this is a ABB general purpose. Um, again, you got your input, your bus, and your motor leads. It's I could pretty much guarantee you. Well, I can guarantee you. It's it's constructed identical to this guy right here, even though it's a different brand. This one's ABB. This is Square D again. All right. Um, that's all I had.